All right, guys, today we're gonna talk about why I don't carry an EDC pouch, why I won't carry one, and realistically, the solution to EDC pouches. Now, if you've been around the EDC game at all, or even the outdoor game, you've probably come across or are at least familiar with this idea of EDC pouches. And what I mean by an EDC pouch is like a small, whether it's a leather, whether it's um, nylon, different textiles, some of them are canvas and stuff, but essentially they all are just small pouches that you can put different EDC gear in. Sometimes that's lights, um, pry bars, up to even up to small wrenches and stuff like that. And I got to thinking the other day when I was watching a video about them and a person comparing them on the YouTubes, like, why don't I carry one of those? Like, I carry a lot of stuff, as you guys are probably familiar with, things like lights, pens, multi-tools, of course, knives. But why don't I carry an EDC pouch myself? Well, here is the most simple answer. And I think honestly, this is the most realistic um, point of view or perspective to take given the situation. All right, so at the core of it, the reason why I'm outside of the truck and not on the inside is because it has to do with what I'm wearing. And what I have to say is that I found a tremendous like difference or genuinely like, so what I found was that it really helps me on the daily, like everyday carry style um, of life to have a really good pair of pants, a pair of pants that genuinely makes the difference. And so if you guys know whether you can see my whole body or not, I pretty much always wear Fiel Raven Vita Pros. Sometimes I will wear other things. Sometimes I wear like 5'11 strike pants. Sometimes I wear uh, Fiel Raven's uh, Keb trousers. But by and large, for the most part, what I'm actually carrying like for EDC specifically, I'm going to be wearing some form of cargo pants such as these Vita Pros. And when I carry or when I wear this, these types of pants, especially something like these Vita Pros that have lots of pockets, it allows me to basically bypass the need for having things like EDC pouches or tool rolls or any kind of thing that just combines a lot of your EDC gear. As you guys can see here, you know, when it comes down to these pants, like what I'm wearing, and I do wear this like every day, this is what I carry. You know, I have my multi-tool, as you guys can hopefully see here. <laughs> As you can see, I have my multi-tool here. This is, of course, my Leatherman Charge Plus, and the lighting totally got dark, but um, I have the Leatherman Charge Plus. I have my flashlight. I have my pen. I have my knife, of course, as well. I don't have it on me, but I do also carry my um, phone. It's just in the truck at the moment. And so I'm able to carry all of that stuff. Of course, you know, my wallet and um, my lighter just like that. So I'm not gonna go over, of course, this isn't like an EDC dump, but you know, stuff like that, you know, truck keys and all that fun jazz can fit very easy, very discreetly and very well in a good pair of pants. And while you might not throw all of this in an EDC pouch, a lot of people do end up throwing at least these four items and sometimes more, your knife, your light, your pen, and your multi-tool in an EDC pouch to make life more organized per se. But like I said, realistically speaking, and I've been doing this for well before the EDC pouch and kind of like toolkits came along is just wearing a really good pair of pants that not only I feel are comfortable, but also allow you to have that kind of expanded um, capability set should you need it. Now you don't necessarily have to carry, and this is one of the cool things about you know, like having a pair of pants like this, is you don't necessarily have to carry all of this stuff on you all the time, but it gives you the ability that say I want a multi-tool for any given day. For me, it does happen to be most days, um, but you know, you can throw your multi-tool there, you can take your pen, your flashlight, you know, throw those in another pocket. Um, you can take your knife, throw that in another pocket. You can throw your phone in another pocket, wallet in another pocket. And ultimately, you know, speaking, you know, you have five, six pockets that you can load down with whatever gear you need on any given day. So that's what I really do like about uh, the system that I run and like, the reason why I don't carry um, or don't like have or haven't integrated and probably won't in the foreseeable future integrate um, 
any of these types of like pouches, pockets, kits, and stuff like that into my EDC. It's just because, like I said, realistically speaking, I don't, I don't really need them. I think that the pockets that cargo pants naturally have on them allows me to have a good enough amount of gear. And also what I like is the kind of separation of things. If you have one like singular pouch or little pack that you have all of these things in, one, that pouch or pack, if it goes missing, you're kind of screwed. But also two, in most realistically, is like it's just a heavy mass of gear, right? Like it's just this concentrated like pound or two of equipment that you're going to be using throughout the day. And so what I like is, you know, like I have my multi-tool here, I have my flashlight pen here, I have my knife here. So everything's kind of spread out as a whole. And so not one individual part um, or pow pouch or, you know, pocket has like all of this stuff in it. So I like that kind of spread out because it helps with like weight distribution and just makes it feel like even if I am carrying a lot of stuff, it doesn't necessarily feel like I'm carrying that much because things are spread out things are spread out across my body so it's more intuitive in addition to it does help with organization because once again like I know my multi-tools right here so if I have a multi-tool problem that I need you know my multi-tool for I'll just pop this uh, pocket and just grab my multi-tool and go to work right or if I have a knife related problem I'll just grab my knife pop it out as I fail to <laughs> and just go from there right so it's very intuitive when you have you know your things set up in different places to just know where they're at grab it and go at least that's my opinion that's my perspective so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully it was uh, a nice kind of different perspective because I feel like a lot of EDC content creators are focused so heavily on like this is my EDC pouch pack this is my toolkit and this is my different um, like toolkit this is my like kind of um, my take on that so anyways guys as always God bless and I'm out